and welcome to my youtube channel my name is ray ray and as always thank you for clicking on my video this is a video of my vanity i've been and my makeup collection as well but quick little disclaimer i do not own a lot of makeup um especially things for your face i do have quite a few um face palettes but i don't do a whole crazy amount of makeup but um, I did want to share what my vanity is because I do sit here or next to it as you can see I don't know if you can see this little area in some of my videos. That's where I sit and record most of my YouTube videos but um, Like right next to it is this big and lovely lustrous vanity that I want to share with you what I have inside and um, the little organizing things that I have inside of the drawers so Continue watching to see what is inside of my vanity, to see my little small makeup collection. Yeah, just continue watching. Starting off my vanity tour, I'm going to start on the left side. And what I really like about this vanity is that it has these little hooks in the back of it. And it's one on the other side as well. But I love it because I can hang extra things and, you know, put your accessories there or whatnot. But... You can hide it out the way it's not visible but there's extra storage so i super duper love that about this vanity okay so moving back around this is the left side of my vanity and this is where i keep my perfumes not much going on over here but i can tell you all the perfumes that i have have the Ariana Grande Thank You Next. Have the Victoria's Secret Pink Honey Collection. Ariana Grande Thank You Next Body Mist. This is a Yves Saint Laurent. Um, Ariana Grande Cloud. Coast Dreams. This is Daisy Mark Jacobs. And this is a Donna Karen. And I think it's Cashmere Miss. So this is where I just keep all of my perfumes at. So moving on from the perfumes in this first left drawer, I have all of my jewelry in here, which I actually need to go through and like get rid of some things. But I have like my watches, my rings, um, ankle bracelets, big earrings, and this thing comes or moves out the way and there's even more accessories down here. Like I said, I really need to go through this. There's a bunch of things that I don't even wear anymore. And that's where I keep my shades at as well. But yeah, this first drawer is just for like my jewelry and all that good stuff. So moving on to the second drawer. This is where I keep all of my skincare products. So starting in the back, I have this Con Air Triple Barrel Waver Hair Crimper. And then at the bottom of it, I just have this hot pad where you put your tools on it as you're using it. I got that from Walmart. Then I just have a foot file. I have some Equate nail polish remover. This thing right here has all of my nail care kit stuff in it. So nail file, nail glue, nail polish remover, cuticle trimmer. All that stuff is inside of here. And I got this thing from um, Ulta. You know, it's a free gift if you buy certain things or a certain amount. Then I also have some Equate Butter Cocoa Lotion. My Equate Body Gel. Um, this I found at Walmart. It was there around Christmas time. It's some um, Body Mist Platinum Shimmer. It doesn't have a brand's name, but... I just bought it because it was cute and I thought that I would use it on my body, but I have not tried this out yet. Then over here, I have some Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm. I was using this before I found body butter. So this is for dry to extra dry skin, which it works very well. I've used a lot of this product. Haven't been using this lately, so... Then next, I have this I Do Care Space Kitting T-Zone Clearing Galactic Black Peel-Off Mask. I've used this in my 
spa day video so check that out if you want to know what this is like also i have some gold bond ultimate rough and bumpy skin i do have dry skin and i do suffer from like heat bumps and whatnot so but this works very very well for like my itchy skin then i have some body and earth cherry blossom body butter have some wet and wild lip treatment this is in the flavor grapefruit then i just have a small thing of the neutrogena hydro boost Then I have my CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. I use this for when I go to bed. Yeah, this is very, very good. I love using this for my um, nighttime skin moisturizer. And then next to that is my Truly Unicorn Fruit Whipped Body Butter. And I've been using plenty of this as well. So this is definitely something that I need to stock up on. I love this body butter. It's absolutely amazing. Then in this little drawer right here, I have some Yes to Tomatoes Acne Fighting Spot Treatment. I actually like this a lot for when I see a breakout or feel one coming and just to like spot treat it. And then I have a Jade Roller. Some Gold Bond Healing, like, travel size lotion. Then I have some Bikini Zone After Shave Gel. I do like to use this after I am done shaving, like, my bikini area. And this is really good. I'm almost out of it. So that needs to be a repurchase. But, yes, I really recommend, like, using some type of gel after you're done shaving. Just to reduce, like, razor bumps and ingrown hairs and all that good stuff. And then I have this I Do Care Silicone Pack Brush. I bought this for my T-Zone mask because it is very, very stringy and sticky. And yeah, I needed a silicone brush to like apply a mask. Then I also have some Muscle Rub. I got this from Walmart, like 88 cents. And then I have some Eczema Relief and it's by Quate. So that was everything in that second drawer and now for the very last drawer this is kind of like everything mixed together drawer um back here these are like cases that watches came inside of but i just have like my nail polishes inside of them and they come like really in handy for storing your nail polishes so in this little bag right here, I just have all of my NYX glitters. Yeah, all of my glitters, I've got them from NYX. I don't use anything else. And then also this thing I got, well, actually, I just lied because this thing came from uh, BH Cosmetics. And I purchased it because I wanted this glitter that's right here. It's um, a brown color. And it was super pretty and I needed it for a brown outfit look that I was going for for my birthday. So I got that. But it also came with these two colors as well. This is a pretty gold. And this one is like a burnt red copper kind of look. Which I haven't even opened it up. But yeah, I hope you can see it on camera. It's kind of burnt red, little orange tint to it. And it's super cute as well. Okay, moving on. This is my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Spray. Then I have the Ulta Makeup Brush Cleansing Mint. And then I have some Coastal Sense Brush Shampoo. Then in the next drawer, I keep like my facial mask or if I bought some nails. I really like the Kiss brand nails. That's basically what I get. And then I also have this Maskology Under Eye Go Gel Mask. I have not tried that out yet, but I am looking forward to it. Then I have some Yes 2 Clear Skin 
detoxifying and hydrating yin and yang paper mask i have used this before and this is very powerful stuff you guys it'll make your face feel really refreshed but it does work tremendously then i also have some revolution luxury baking powder in the color banana and these were just like two freebies from ulta it's a lancome advanced genifique youth activating concentrate and then some mario spf 15 sunscreen and for this last little organizer which i actually got these little organizers from dollar tree sorry if i like forgot to mention that but yeah got these from the dollar tree i also found this pink cute glitter from the hair store i think that's just a cute color then i got this single eyeshadow pressed glitter from ColourPop. i have not used this yet but i wanted to buy it because it's such a pretty color And then these are makeup palettes that couldn't, or couldn't, shouldn't say couldn't fit, but yeah, they couldn't fit <laughs> inside of my makeup drawer. So I have this one, and it is a Wet n Wild. I know this was out around Christmas time, 2020, and I really wanted it for this pressed glitter for the yellow one. So I got this, and then I got another one as well, and I bought it for that color, but now I have it in a loose pigment, so, but yeah, super cute. And then these are my ColourPop palettes. I have the Nude Mood. The Disney Frozen 2, I got the Elsa palette. ColourPop Going Coconuts. ColourPop in a trance. And then this big one is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. So moving over here, I'll have some always thin panty liners. And then this is just a little Ziploc bag of my um, Aromatherapy Epsom Salt and my Shea Moisture Mud Mask, which I used both of these in my spa video, so do check that out. This Shea Moisture Mud Mask is extremely good. I love it. And then I have this, what do you call this? Measuring tape, yeah. <laughs> I have some measuring tape whenever I want to do like my measurements. And then these little hooks right here. When I bought this vanity, um, unfortunately, they could not find the fourth one, so I could hang or so I can put my glass desktop in. But it doesn't bother me. I really don't miss that glass top being there. But I just kept these in case I ever do want to get the fourth one and put the glass top up. So that was everything for the third and final drawer on the left side. Now to move over to the right side. So here is the right side of my vanity. And just right here on top here is a picture of me and Lonnie. Underneath it is a picture that my son did at school. He did it for Mother's Day like four years back. I absolutely love that. And then here is my giraffe that I bought from uh, the Chattanooga, Tennessee Zoo. And back here, it has hooks just as well on the left side. And this is where I keep all of my face mask. So coming back around, this is the side that I keep all of my makeup brushes on. All of my makeup brushes, or not all, I should say, but most of them have come from, this set definitely came from BH Cosmetics. And then this pink set, I want to say came from BH Cosmetics as well, but this is just a mixture of different brushes and whatnot. But yeah, this is where I keep all of my brushes. So moving over to these drawers. So starting with this first drawer, this is where I keep all of my makeup. So starting in this drawer right here, this is where I keep all of my eye products at. 
But this right here is um, the Kiss Strip Lash Glue. I use a lot of the Kiss products, but the Kiss Eyelash Glue is really, really good. It keeps your eyelashes on. You don't have to reapply during the day, and it's just very good eyelash glue. And then this is my Wet n Wild in the color Blackest Black Eyeliner Pencil. Then I have some e.l.f. Mascara. Then this is a NYX Epic Wear White Eyeliner. And then for a liquid liner, I like to use the e.l.f. brand. This doesn't have like a name on it or anything, but yes, the e.l.f. brand for liquid liner, which I put on my top eye, is bomb. Like, I absolutely love it. Then I have some NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I have one in Milk and Cobalt. And then this mascara, I still have not got around to using it yet but this is the essence i love extreme crazy volume mascara i got this from ulta and then this is the nyx love lust disco and this is a metallic silver eyeliner and then this is a hard candy trope of gorgeous eyeliner I picked this up because it has a white metallic look to it, which is not coming off on my camera, which I can't wait to buy a new one. And then this is my e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow pomade. I usually use LA Girl, but I ran out and then I got this and I purchased this at Walmart. I have some NYX eyeshadow base. Then I have just an e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil sharpener. And then these, I like to use these whenever I don't want to get all glamorous with my eyebrows. These are the Wet n Wild Color Brow Pencil. And this is in the color Brunettes Do It Better. So this next little drawer right here is all of my face products, which is really sad because I only have one brand of foundation, but I do not do foundation a lot. When I do my makeup, I'm usually doing just eye looks with eyeshadows, but the foundation that I have found was the Black Radiance, and this is in the color Mocha Honey, and it matched me pretty well, but I've had this foundation for like, ooh, I don't know how many years, so if... I really need to repurchase, but yeah, that shows you how long, or that shows you how much I don't use foundation, but I use this as a highlight, and this was in the color Butterscotch, and this is again all Black Radiance play, and then this one is in the color Cocoa Bean, and then back here are my matte finish NYX setting sprays, and then this one is just a mini. And then this right here is the Juvia's Place, and this is in the color 12. I got this because I was going to use this as a foundation, but it comes off hella yellow. So it doesn't really match my skin, but I kept it around. And then these are just some dirty makeup brushes that, or makeup sponges that I need to actually clean because that looks really gross. But moving on from this drawer, this little leopard pouch right here. It has some goodies inside of it. This is my Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer. And then these little beauty finds, this are, or this one is an e.l.f. Shimmer Facial Whip. I used this as a highlighter before I even got a highlighter palette, but this is amazing. I don't think they make these anymore because I have not seen this in a while. But yes, this is like an extreme extremely cute highlight color and then I got another one and this one was in like a berry color so also have a LA girls pro concealer this is in the color if I can find it pure beige and I used to use this underneath my eyebrows but I 
quit doing it or quit using this one. Like, yeah, this is a good color for me for concealing underneath my eyebrow and starting my eye looks. And then this is L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear, and this is in the color 415 Honey. I do use this as a um, foundation, and it works very well for me. And then this is an e.l.f. Mineral Infused Facial Primer. Then I have an NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. And this is in the color Deep Espresso. And then I have another one. This is NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. And this is in the color Neutral Tan. And I use this one as um, a base for my eyeshadows. And I also use it as a highlight too. And then the one before that, I use that obviously for a contour color. And then I have the Heart Candy Glitter Stay Primer. And then this I use for color cor correcting underneath my eyes. And this is Heart Candy Color Corrector Expert Cream. Okay, so moving over, this is... A Profusions Matte Eye Palette. I got this from Walmart. And then right next to it, I have some Equate Wedge Applicators. I have my... Well, actually, I have a new... I want to try this out. I've seen this at the hair store. This is the Eye Envy. I usually wear their eyelashes. They came out with an eyelash glue. So I want to try this out. Then I also have some more makeup palettes. This is from ColourPop. It's the Truly Madly Deeply. I have the Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte. This is a highlighter palette. I got this from Walmart and it's by Heart Candy. I have the Warrior 2 by Juvius. And then I also have the Saharian Blush Volume 1 by Juvius. And you guys, these palettes have been with me for some years. Um, this is the first palette I ever bought. And this is by BH Cosmetics. It's the 120 color palette. And it's the first edition. But yeah, this palette has been with me for years. It has blues, greens, yellows, and orange. And then this has like cool metallic colors. Purples and pinks and neutrals. But yes, I have had this palette, I know, for a good, like, six plus years. So I have the first edition. I have the fifth edition. The fourth edition. And then I have the sixth anniversary edition as well. And this little area right here, this is where I keep all of my eyelashes. And my eyelashes, they just come from the hair store. It's not like a special brand that I use. And then here is all of the lips that I have. Majority of my lips are um, definitely wet and wild. I will just show you guys my favorite lipstick. So this is Rose and Slay by NYX. Or, no, excuse me, wet and wild. But most of my lipsticks are like NYX, um, wet and wild. And I really don't have any other brand other than that. This is super cute. Um, this is LA Colors Holographic Glit um, Lip Gloss. I like this lip gloss. I pair this on top of any lipstick that I wear. This gives me that sparkle and that shine, honey. But yeah, this is everything that is inside of my makeup drawer. So that is everything that is in my makeup drawer. Moving on to the second drawer on this side. This is where I keep, like, all of my headbands, scrunchies. This is headbands. This is another one for headbands. And these little cups that they came in also came from the Dollar Tree. This is bonnets and hats and all that good stuff. So this is just a drawer for, like, that. And then the last drawer is all of my hair care stuff. So in this first little cubicle bin area, I got some hair clips. This is some hair strings. 
these are cute little things you can put in your hair hair clips and i just got these from my local hair store um bobby pins more hair clips and this drawer right here is just for combs and brushes and whatnot this is for uh that this big ass clip but um has some scissors some scrunchies you know just little extra things that i may need um back here in the last one this is some more hair clips these are very good i got these from a hair store in clarksville tennessee but the via naturals i like to use these for my hair so i have the peppermint one black castor oil grapeseed oil coconut oil vitamin e and jojoba and then aside from that i have some what do you call these styling strips you know for your edges or whatnot after you slay them you lay them down so i got those i just got some rubber bands i got a wig cap i got the murray's edge wax extreme hold i have some what is this eco argon oil hair gel and then i got the black got to be styling gel has some salon pro hair glue and then this oh this is i just got this not too long ago this is easy edge easy edges edge control gel it got coconut oh it got coconut oil in it okay but anyways um this is some extremely good hair gel like my hair is difficult when i add some moisture to it um it likes to just like draw up so i can't really have them slay edges like other baddies be having but um this is really really good it's been holding my edges down in this style for two days now and it still look fresh and good and they have it moved so if you can find this in your hair store do buy that's that's good easy edges all right get that and then that is everything in that drawer so this is a little seat that i use whenever i sit down in front of my vanity these are just some cute little pillows that i have in front of it but i like this seat because and i actually tore this so like don't pay no attention to that it's a little secret compartment which has a bunch of i don't know what's in there it's a bunch of stuff i really need to go through that but i just like that it has an extra little seating thing so yeah i like this and i like the little bling crystal just on it so yeah i hope you enjoyed my video this is my vanity i love sitting here and doing my makeup and all that good stuff so i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe you guys oh can y'all see my ponytail wait i gotta get y'all ready y'all see that i did this myself super cute i love it super cute long pony i love it but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe you guys like comment subscribe <laughs> and thanks for viewing my vanity bye